This is going to be Evernote Lesson 4. Um, this is where it gets really fun for me. Um, one of my favorite parts about Evernote, uh, we're going to be talking about to-do list and creating a table of contents. So these are the things that keep me extremely organized, uh, keep me productive, and keep me moving forward. Um, it's going to be very easy, and I'm excited to talk to you about it today. So the first thing we want to do is go over a to-do list. Everyone has to-do lists. Um, whether you write that down on paper, um, there's many, many applications out there. There's a default phone room on your phones. Um, there's a billion of them out there. This, you can use so many different functions of to-do lists. Um, and it's very simple in Evernote. You, this could be a quick list since you can do it on your computer. It'll sync to your phone. You'll have it for your grocery store or whatever errands that you're running. Uh, but you can also do a lot more with it on here. Uh, and we'll go over some of those. So first, let's go ahead and create a new list. Let's make this our grocery list. Now, very simple to do. There's a checkbox here. If we go ahead and click on the checkbox, let's go ahead and put apples. Press enter. And this is a new checkbox for you. You can click it, unclick it. No problem. Very simple to do. Um, I like to organize my grocery list by produce. So you can go ahead and write what you ever need to there. And a, the shortcut for putting a checkbox in here, because we're all about shortcuts and saving time, will be Command Shift T on the Mac. That's Command plus Shift plus T. And for the Windows version, it's Control plus Shift plus C as in cat for windows. Pretty simple. Um, you have your meats, you have your um, breads, whatever, right? So you make your list how you want to. Very simple to do. Um, and so it's not a hard thing to explain, but I do want to give you some good ideas on how I've used Evernote to make some of these lists. So I have a daily list. Um, I always have goals for each day that I like to review. Um, this is a good way to start tracking what you're accomplishing each day. Um, I've used this for a journal. Um, Evernote's been a good journal, uh, setting daily goals. It's good for setting yearly goals. I always take a look at my yearly goals, and this is a good way, an easy way, especially we just talked about reminders, to review your yearly goals maybe on a, on a monthly basis, right? Um, you always want to keep track of that. Uh, bucket lists. Bucket lists are great in this. Um, as you can see on my shortcut menu over here, I have a nice bucket list to go over all kind of different things, right? Things, places I want to go, people I want to visit. I hyperlink these to other notes, which we just reviewed in that last episode. Uh, uh, pictures that I have, and I keep those in Evernote as well. And so I always keep this updated. It's always fun to kind of go back and take a look at this. Um, wedding list. This was huge. Um, we're going to go over the shared notebooks here in a little while. Um, it's going to be for another episode, but my wife and I um, planned our wedding through Evernote. And as you can see, it's a shared notebook between me and my wife, Kelly. Um, and it was very easy planning, especially when you're not living together, right? Um, we needed a way to really organize and communicate. Um, and this was a good way to keep it down um, on paper for both of us, or electronic paper for us to view and plan it. Very simple to do. Um, thank you. Thanks to Evernote. And I recommend this to other people um, who have recently gotten married, and um, I continue to get great praise and thanks for showing them how to do this. So it's, it works. Um, we went over grocery list, a home supply list, right? Um, as a new homeowner myself, um, I continually have updating lists on things I need to buy for the house, things I want to work on. Home projects is a big list of mine, um, and I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, I always kind of keep track of it. I go to Home Depot maybe once a month or even more, depending on what needs to happen. Uh, but I continuously update that list. Um, same thing for home repair lists. There's many things I want to do to my house, but when you're on budgets, um, you can't do everything all at once, and I don't want to forget projects that I want to do. Maybe I just want to think about it. Maybe it's just a great idea right now, but when I think about it or have the money to do it in two months, maybe I'll do it, maybe I won't. But it's good to write down your home projects 
um, which I have a nice little shortcut over here. Um, just simple ideas and articles that you read. Um, this is where you want to keep it. Again, we talked about hyperlinks. Um, you could take snaps off to pictures. You could put it in here. There's there's many, many different things you can use Evernote for, even if you don't think you're going to use them. Um, here's my to-do list. Um, pictures, ideas. Um, Evernote makes it so easy. Um, transformation of my garage. I mean, very simple to do, right? You just take pictures, and it's kind of great to see how your house comes along. Um, a movie and reading list. I think that is great. There's many things I want to read. I have a to-read tag. Um, books that people recommend to me. Um, I'm sure you get the same thing. People always recommend books that they read. Um, and so I kind of keep a list of that. And whenever I'm going skimming articles online, um, there's always recommendations. And I kind of like to put it in here. You just never know when. There you go. I read that one. Uh, read that one too. Fantastic. Getting all these done without even recognizing I haven't that I've done that. So good way to keep track of it. You just never know um, when you're going to come back to these books and really need them for your life. Um, same thing with the movie list. Um, it gets get kind of nerdy, but I like to go back and see when I watch different shows and movies. Um, I love watching movies and, and TV shows. I think it's 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 fantastic, um, and I want to be able to remember when I watch these, um, specifically Star Wars. I know the new ones are coming out here, and I could not remember the last time I saw Star Wars. So this is a great way to remember that information. And um, I will tell you, people recommend movies all the time to me, and this is a good way to keep track of that. Um, different projects. So I have most of my work workflows and my project workflows in here. Um, I won't go over too much of that, but that's pretty self-explanatory. Wish list. Um, that's a big thing, and I put this under my share folder, but things that I want to buy go under a specific wish list. And so my wife is able to see this, so whenever her birthday or Christmas comes around, she's able to go through this checklist and check off things that, that I want. And I've gotten a lot of things in the last year so I keep track of. Um, it's a good way just to, um, even if I don't need it, there's things that come on this list that I don't end up buying, and I'm glad I didn't, and have buy her remorse later. Um, but it's kind of good to go ahead and put those thoughts down. Um, here's another one I didn't even think of, emergency kit. Uh, we're going over emergency preparedness in my job right now with hurricane season here. And this is kind of a good way for me to get organized and make sure that my emergency kit is available for my family when that time comes. New Year's resolutions, so just goals in general. Um, I always keep track of my goals, and I try to continue to update, update this. So these go back to my 2013 goals, um, and then 2015. These are things that I want to work on and review with my wife. Um, she's able to view this and hold me accountable for this stuff. Um, but I come back to this and I look at this on a frequent basis and make sure that I'm accomplishing those goals that I said early in the year. Where to eat list, a packing list, things that you're collecting. There's many things that you can do. Um, I'm sure there's more of these, uh, but these are the ones that I currently do and I continually update. Okay, so next is table of contents to kind of finish this out. This is super easy because Evernote has recently made um, a function on the Mac version for creating a table of contents. Um, so we're going to review that, but we're also going to show you different ways to do this. Um, one simple way is by selecting one or more notes. You can do this by holding down the command key like so. So let's just say we're going to take all of these notes in this notebook. And Evernote created this button called Create a Table of Contents Note. Click on the note. And now all those notes have it ended up in this one notebook. And they're all hyperlinked to each other. So I can click on my groceries list, it'll go to your grocery list. Click on this back button here, go to my coffee trial. I bought a, a, a big variety pack of coffee to figure out which one I want for my Keurig. Um, so I keep notes on which ones are good, which ones are not good. So that's a very easy way to create it. But if you're like me and you continue to add information, 
um, and notes to this growing table of content list, you will need to use the note linking function, which we went over um, in the previous episode in lesson three. So let's review how I use Evernote, and I have to give credit to to my one of my best friends, Ross, who helped me create a few of these, and some of these are his ideas, but I want to share them with you because they're extremely valuable and they've organized my life beyond my imagination. So I actually have a tag over here. I tag all my table of contents notes. So first thing, inventory list. I keep track of every piece of electronic information on in my house. This is a great way for me if I'm on the phone with customer service and I need to pull this information quickly. So if I have my TV and my TV breaks or if I'm not able to get behind my TV, this is a good way to just take, take a picture of your, your information so I don't have to pull the TV off the wall or go put a mirror up and see what my model number is on my, on my TV here, um, figure out what's on the back of my TV. I don't have to go anywhere. I just come straight to here to Evernote to do it. That was the first try I did it. it was a mirror. It didn't work very well. And so you can see here, I keep track of all my electronic information. It's just a nice, easy way to keep track of what's in your house. And it's good if for some reason your house floods, you have all this information backed up. Um, home stuff, I keep track of my home, my washer and dryer, um, owner manuals and things like that. This is a good place to store this. Um, project lists. So I absolutely keep track of projects that I've done in the last two years. Um, done quite a bit. Um, this is a good way just to kind of keep a, keep it nice and organized. If I ever need to go back and look at what I did, um, I have a nice description of what I did and kind of it's checked off if I once I completed it. And dates on here, which is makes it very easy um, to do. Place notes in there lessons learned from that project so you can always move forward and get better. Your CRM, so this is, a, this is a great way to keep in touch with people. These are people that I want to keep in touch with. I go to this information. I keep notes on all our conversations like I mentioned in our last episode um, and that gives me a jumping off point the next time I talk to them. Um, great way um, to stay connected it's a great way to never forget what we talked about and always revert back to that conversation that we had and the advice that they give me or the, not the conversations that we have. Um, and I set reminders here, right? And so you can see here a reminder pops up on when I need to call these people or email them and, and kind of just stay in touch. It, it automatically connects back to me. So I don't have to remember to do this. I don't have to remember what we talked about. It's all here ready to go. Um, next one we could talk about my car table of contents list. This is great too. Um, so if I'm even traveling, I'm on the road, something happens to my car, I'm filling out an application and they need my license plates number, whatever the case is, this is a nice, easy, concise place to get my information and my wife's. I can't remember my, life's inf my wife's information. So if I'm on my phone, I can pull up what's my wife's license plates number. There you go. Battery receipt, interest rates, my, her insurance card my registration sticker, battery, whatever the case is, it's all here. So nice, concise place to have your information. Um, family table of contents list. Let's see if I can find that here shortly. Uh, in. Here we go. So this, for my wife, my wife doesn't know um, my passport ID, my social, um, she doesn't know a lot of my information, so I don't expect her to, but it is re readily available for her to look at. And same thing on her stuff. I don't know her social by heart. I don't know her driver's license number by heart. I have it here stored so I can find it anytime I need to. It's a great way. Um, my daughter is the same way. It's good to kind of have this stuff in place um, if you can't, because we can't memorize it all. Our brains are not able to do those types of things, or most of us anyway. Um, a house one. This is fantastic. So anything about my house, um, I can't memorize it all. There's so many things going on. Um, we keep track of who we're using for security, our energy, our water. Um, this goes back and kind of pulls up what the contracts look like, um, what I need to do with each one. 
I set reminders when things are going to, my contract ends on my Reliant Energy information, for example. Um, I don't remember, I get weekends for free. I don't remember what time it starts, so I have to come back here every now and then and say, oh, when does this, when does my free weekend start? Well, it starts 8 p.m. on Friday and ends on 12 a.m. on Monday. I don't remember that a lot of the time, so I have to come back here and look at it. But it's a good place to come back and, and just keep all this information stored. And, and don't be overwhelmed. This took quite a bit of time, and it's taken years to build. Um, but I'm obviously willing to help for whoever needs it. Um, and so let me know if, if there's things that um, you're intimidated by or need some help with. Um, always willing to help you move forward here. So again, I mentioned before, if you tag this information, I always keep this TOC, the table of contents tag, put that tag over here on the on your shortcut bar, and it makes everything so easy to find. Um, and I always recommend doing that. So I think I've thrown a lot at you today. Um, if you have any other ideas or suggestions, um, I'm always willing and open to learning. Um, thank you for watching the video. Hopefully you learned something in this. Let me know if you have any questions or concerns. Um, and again, thanks for watching.